Oh, and thank you for watching Toko Steve's workbench. Excuse me, will you? Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, we're doing another video. Thank you for calling, by the way. I want to show people that the bells ring, but uh, that's great that you called. But your big guests could have called at any time. Yeah, the 1948-302. Yeah, be sure to watch it on YouTube, okay? Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Hello, thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. And today, we have for you a Western Electric Antique Telephone. And it is the 302 Telephone. It's the 300 Series H1 Type telephone made by Western Electric. They first came out with them in 1936. We're not going to go down it. Look at my other videos. You can go down the history. You can read Old Time Telephones by Ralph O'Meyer. He's an excellent author on Old Time Telephones, by the way. Uh, get that book. It's worth the $27, $38, whatever the cost is. Uh, get that book if you're into antique telephone collecting. It's fantastic. So you can read about the history there. 1936, they came out with the phone to replace the subsets, but then the, all the internal components are within the phone. This one is from 1948. And the cords have 1948 with the little connectors on it, stamped 48, as you can see in the picture. The base is stamped 2-48. The network is stamped 148. For the first cord of 48, it's an inductor coil 101A on the network. The ringer, is stamped 2-48. The cover, the plastic cover, is stamped 1-30-48 along with the H1 indication, which proves it's a true 302. It's not a 304, it's not an AAW uh, or a 231 or, you know, a 648 or whatever else you want to call them. Uh, it's a 302, 302 model. Please don't call it the Lucy phone anymore, okay? That's over with, all right? Let's just go on. It's a 302, all right? Uh, the receiver is a 12748. The, the transmitter is a 148. The dial, the 5H dial is stamped 2-40 on the bottom where the, uh, where the contacts are on the inside of the phone. And the dial number plate where you see the numbers on the phone are stamped 150B dot 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 I they meant one no, Roman numeral one, one 48 for the first quarter of 1948 so this phone all the dates are from the first part of 1948 they all match you're getting an excellent telephone it has the original connector on it what I mean by that is here's the original connector right here, the four-prong plug. And I've made this adapter. Well, this adapter is made by a company later on down the road. Um, made by uh, Electricord, whoever that is. Probably long enough business. But anyway, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've made an, an adapter here uh, so that you plug. So that you just plug your modular cord in. So... Just do that, and that uh, that way. Then, the if the modular cord, the little clip that always breaks on it, it won't break on your phone. You won't have to be messing with the phone anymore. You won't have to do that. You will buy this, and everything is set up so that it will give you years of enjoyment. This guy here, he's not going to break anytime soon. Trust me. And we've already known this guy. He doesn't break unless somebody takes a pair of cable cutters and cuts the top off of him like they always do when they sell these phones for the kind of prices that some people want to get them for. And unfortunately, this phone is not priced in that um, unrealistic realm because everything is original. Everything works. It's been totally rebuilt, sanitized for your protection. Every part has been cleaned right down to the screw. So believe me, this one is in really good shape. I wish you uh, a good day, and I have some advice that I'd like to give you for what it's worth. Find those that you love, take them and hold them, and tell them that you love them. If you've told them 300 times, 
Tell them 301 times. It matters whether you think so or not. And even if you don't, do it anyway. We live in a troubled world. The only thing that's going to save us is faith and hope and love. Have a great day. See you soon. Thanks for watching.